Hey guys, welcome back to PCN's channel. I hope you like uh, the bezels uh, you saw in the intro video there. I really like these. Like this actually came up randomly on my feed, and I had to check it out. So this is uh, this is the Mega Bezels, and uh, you can use them in RetroArch. I'll leave a link to this web page in there because it does give you the instructions of how you can put them in manually, uh, and you can also update them via RetroArch. I personally didn't do it that way. I went into RetroArch files and and done it myself. Um, and and th th there was a few issues, but some things might be obvious, but it took me a while to find them. But I really like how these look. I'm just kind of scrolling down the page, so feel free to pause it anywhere you like. Uh, but yeah, man, they, they look amazing. I just love the reflections. I look at the TV screen there. You've got slight reflections uh, on the edges, and then you know you've got the you've got the fully blown ones like over here. So you know I, I like playing stuff in the correct aspect ratio. I, I don't stretch it out. But I find this a good use for the screen, as long as you don't find it too distracting. But personally, uh, I'm really, really impressed by this. But let's go into RetroArch and just see how we can get these. So um, stay tuned. Right, guys, so here we are in RetroArch. I'm using a Windows version, and this tutorial is for the Windows version. Now, um, just a quick one. By default, if you go over to video, like I just did there, if you go to output, by default, it's on GL. Now, uh, Mega Bezels will only work from Geo Core and Vulkan. Uh, for the sake of video, we will go to Geo Core, but just to show you, because a lot of times, if you want to update your shaders, which we'll try and do now, uh, we can see. Okay, so update. So when you've got it on Geo, it's just update GLSL shaders. Uh, we want slang shaders. That's how, when you update your slang shaders, that's how you get Mega Bezels. Um, so what we want to do is let's go back over to video. Then we're gonna go to output and we're gonna change that either to Vulcan or GeoCore. And we're gonna go GeoCore for this video. So let's change it over to GeoCore, uh, either save the configuration or I like I've got it. Um, I quit RetroArch and it saves it on exit and that way you restart the thing as well. So let's restart uh, RetroArch and come back. Right, we're back in RetroArch. So if we go back to online updates, uh, go, go to the bottom, right? See, now it's change, uh, update slang shaders. And that's what we want to do. So once you update them, you should have the mega bezels. Now, if you don't, you can input them manu manually. Instructions are on the website that I showed. The link will be in the description. You just need to navigate over to where you've got RetroArch installed and add those in there. So that's it. And, and that's pretty much it. So what you want to do now, again, this is quite important. I found uh, I generally on the video have it um have scaling set to core provided now if you do this you won't it won't fill up your screen if you're using like a 16 by 9 or a 16 by 10 screen so what i've had to i'm using a 16 by 9 screen i've had to put it 16 by 9 uh, but we'll, we'll go through and, and we'll do a game so we change it to 16 by 9 let's just go and run a game so what we've got here no no let's go into okay so let's go magic sword right as you can see, look, when I've ran it now, it is, it is, the aspect ratio is completely wrong. It's not how I like to play my games, but let it start. Here you go. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's not how we should play these old games. And if you play games like that, man, what is wrong with you? Uh, but right, let's, uh, let's now bring in uh, those shaders. So whatever your quick menu is, let's go over to shaders. Uh, we are going to go to load. And we're going to go to shader slang, bezel, mega bezel, presets. Okay, so let's just go with the first one here. You'll see that once I do this, it will sort out the aspect ratio. If you have the aspect ratio on the correct one, like for free or core provided, you'll just get, you'll get bigger borders. So let's go back into game. Ah, oh, here you go. And <laughs> wow. So we'll have a look at all the shaders that are in there. I won't, I won't run them. That'll take them some time. I'll let you guys do that in your own time. And once you've got them, there's, there's plenty on there. Uh, there's different console ones. Uh, but look, this just looks lovely. Like, you know, it took me a while. The, the thing that took me a while to work out is I was trying to do it on core provided and hoping it'll fill out. And then after beating my head for a bit, I thought, let me put it on 16.9. And when I've done that, it preserves the correct aspect ratio for the game, but it gave me the borders. And, and I, I like playing everything in the correct aspect ratio. I, I, I don't like going against that. But let's just go and have a look at the list of shaders that's available there. 
what should have should have gone the, the other way around but okay all right shaders load and it was in slang uh bezel mega bezel right presets okay i'm not gonna look at shaders but look if you look at presets you've got base crt you've got lots of options here lots and lots a lot of them are like based on like different tv sets um again you know lots of options here you've got different console ones for like 3ds you've got like 480p options you've got 240 224p so if you look at the shadow dancer one that was like a 240 or a 224p uh in the intro it looks really really bad but if you know if, just for nostalgia's sake if you wanted to you know go to the arcade or if you went to an arcade and, and you had mashup screens there and you want to relive that then you can make it look really really bad as bad as you want really so there's quite a few here uh, i imagine potatoes to run on a potato pc if you don't have powerful hardware and that's pretty much it if you want to run your shaders like that then uh, you're good to go guys so um, if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it really does help out a lot uh thank you for your time thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video pcn out